Thanks again for listening to Unmetered, brought to you by Middle Tennessee Electric. Middle Tennessee Electric is a member-owned, not-for-profit electric cooperative and wants to remind our members that during these cold temperatures, your energy consumption is going to be rising. So be aware of what your thermostat is set at because your HVAC unit can account for up to 50% of your monthly bill. So if you are looking to find an easy way to reduce that energy consumption and thereby lowering your bill each month, uh, take a look at lowering that thermostat down uh, below 68 degrees. So with the temperatures being below 60 outside, your HVAC system is having to work harder to keep the inside temperature up, which may result in, in uh, ad additional energy consumption. One thing that you can do besides lowering your thermostat is to also wear additional clothing indoors. You can also go to bed and put a blanket over your, over your bed. It's a very easy way uh, that you can stay warm without having to make your HVAC unit use up more energy. If you've got any questions about your energy consumption or your monthly bill, give us a call at 877-777-9020. You can also find out more about your energy energy consumption by going to my MTEMC, which is our mobile app or our web portal. So if you're looking for those things, you can, you can actually find the links to everything by going to mtemc.com backslash my MTEMC. Today, we've actually got something a little bit different for you. Uh, we've, we've decided to, we've created a unmetered story, uh, an unmetered tale that you've probably never heard and probably would never look up if you hadn't uh, had us to provide it for you. Today's bonus feature is about, well, I guess you'll have to listen to the rest of the story to hear what this story is about and who it is affecting. Today's story is called 1948, A Year Not to Waste. The year was 1948, a year stuffed with curious activities, a year in which the first tape recorder was sold, Harry Truman was re-elected as president, and the 84 baseball legend Connie Mack challenged 76-year-old legend Clark Griffith to a race, in which, surprisingly, it was a tie. Quite an interesting year to coincide with the creation of something almost all of us enjoy, because one man didn't want to be wasteful. While the world turned and events happened, a man by the name of Robert C. Weber was working on a freezer in his cellar under his home. Home refrigeration was nothing new and had in fact been around for years. You see, Robert C. Weber was looking for a way to improve his electric deep freezer. The kind of freezer so cold you can store meats in it for years without them spoiling. On that day in 1948 though, Robert burned his hand on his freezer an intriguing incident since the freezer should be displacing cold water, not hot. And by hot, I'm not talking about the warm to the touch or lukewarm, uh, nor am I describing the kind of hot you experience when curled up next to a fireplace on a cold winter morning to read your favorite book or to read the newspaper or maybe in today's time, a Facebook post. No, this is the kind of hot that is so hot that it scalds the skin and makes you scream out loud and run to find the aloe vera. Robert discovered that the deep freezer was producing scalding hot water. Not wanting to be wasteful, Robert thought about how to use this heat from his freezer. Many ideas came to mind and when all seemed to fail, he decided to send the hot water to his boiler. As many of you have experienced with your water heater, his boiler could not keep enough hot water flowing into his home for his family for their showers or, or washing their hands. Now you see a boiler was the old school version of the, wa the hot water heater that we experience today. And not having enough water is an issue all families encounter and nothing is more surprising than when you're singing in the shower to your favorite song when the hot water runs out and you hear this note so high that you don't realize it's coming from your own mouth. So Robert fixed his boiler problem by sending the heated water from his deep freeze into his cellar and then into his boiler. And just like that, there were no more cold showers for Robert and his family. But now Robert encountered the issue of having too much hot water, of course not wanting to be wasteful. Robert had to figure out a way to move that water elsewhere. He needed to send the leftover heat, the scalding hot water from the boiler into somewhere else that was less wasteful. 
As an inventor, his mind worked in ways different than the average American. So he thought and he grumbled, he drew sketches and he mumbled, and finally, he had an idea for that leftover hot, wasted water. He ran that leftover boiling water into a coiled copper tube with a small electric fan blowing across it. The hot water heater heated the coal, the coil, excuse me, and the fan blew and blew. In fact, that fan blew so well it heated his entire home. And in 1948, Robert C. Weber created the first electric heat pump. Reusing the water boiling from his deep cold freezer, he was able to create a way to to use that wasted water heating his home. And in fact, in the following year, he got rid of his coal furnace, which was one of which is something that was unheard of in 1949. And we also need to know about Robert C. Weber is that he actually didn't just stop with the heat pump. He actually dug a little bit deeper and figured out a way to, to look into geothermal technology, uh, which we're not going to get into today. But just know that Robert C. Weber, by trying to not be wasteful, was able to figure out a way to heat our homes in a way that we're similar today, that is similar to today. Today, instead of having water running through our HVAC systems, we use Freon. The electricity is is faster, more responsive, and more reliable. But the concepts that Robert C. Weber developed are still in place. Inside your HVAC unit, it is heated up, and then a fan is blown through your house and through the vents, creating what we know now is our HVAC system and being able to change the thermostat and all the great things that we encounter now. I told you at the beginning of the story that in 1948, it was a year full of curious activities filled with things that we probably would have forgotten had we not had a opportunity to share this story today. So as you sit in your homes, your offices, anywhere indoors with an HVAC system running, just be thankful that Robert C. Weber decided to innovate his deep freezer in the cellar of his home, run it through the boiler and into a coiled copper tube that blew hot air into, into his house. And that's the unmetered story of the electric heat pump. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope that you are uh, sitting warm right now in, in your homes as the weather has turned. Uh, again, be aware of your energy consumption. Be aware of how hard your HVAC system is using. If you've not had it serviced or changed the air filters, all these other tips for your HVAC system, uh, be sure to have those done. You can find out more of those tips by listening to some of our previous Unmetered podcasts. Uh, you can also subscribe to our Unmetered podcast through iTunes or Google Play. You can also get on Facebook and YouTube. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to do that. And of course, if you've got any questions about your bill or your energy consumption, be sure to contact us at 877-777-9020. And of course, if you forget everything else and you just want one place to look, go to mtemc.com. There you'll be, you'll be able to find almost everything that I've talked about today. Thanks and have a great day. Mm -hmm.